And folks, we're here for our third video of the week. Christmas in June, right here on my take on Home and Garden. Hey guys, remember the car with the kids and the porcelain kids in our first, second, and third Christmas home tour? Santa's 1932 Rolls Royce getting a makeover right here. Check it out, guys. This is an actual child's motorized car, an electric car. Now, we never had it when the kids were little, but my oldest daughter picked it up pretty good price and thought we'd like it and enjoy it. Here it is in the raw, broken headlight. Both bumpers are broke. That turn signal lens is broke. Here's the luggage bin. <laughs> it's all quite amazing. It's right on the edge of when plastics were coming out. So only a few things are plastic. You see the, the, the dash, you know, the windshield, there's wax on there. So I'm going to take this all apart. Now you can't even imagine <laughs> this isn't something I would want to do every day, but I wanted to do it right. So I'm going to take it all apart. And this is our big project for Christmas to turn this into Santa's special vehicle to run his elves around the North Pole and all around the world. <laughs> Too good. Here we are taking that trunk off. Three big screws. The whole body of this is wood. It's pine and mahogany and it's stained kind of a mahogany. You see the, the topper the, that's folded down is uh, stained a different color. Now I'm getting all the cracks, vacuuming it out. We're saving you all that nasty noise. <laughs> and I have a certain technique. I like to spray the big things first, then I'll do the cutting in details later on. Gonna scrape in that wax off. I guess that was some candle dripping. So here's the my take repair shop. All the parts are up and I'm just scuffing this so it'll receive the paint better. You uh, craft people, you, you know what I mean. So now I'm going to cut a little cardboard and get that bottom covered up. And I'm going to cover everything that, you know, I don't want painted like the body. So it takes quite a little bit. Wiping the dust off. Here I'm making a template to spray the spoked wheels because I want to change the silver to gold. I don't think saying it'd be caught driving something with aluminum or silver. <laughs> He's got to have gold. Okay, so here we go. Exacto knife and an old Christmas box. There's a template. So round and round and then I wait and it's only really I think I got a break that day. Uh, it was only 98 out. <laughs> and you could start seeing the sweat on the back of my shirt. <laughs> Case in point. Okay. Now, 
I'm going to do the gold running boards and up by the motor that's done the wheels are done and you talk about Mr. Thrifty look at this I'm reusing the tape <laughs> that's that's pretty hardcore now if see if you can beat that <laughs> with the prices today it's such a joke I used everything but the kitchen sink to pull this off. I'll tell you what this project cost me. I think the whole project cost me $12. I needed the gold paint, I had the red from other projects, two cans. Okay, here we are taping off everything that I don't want the color of the chassis which is going to be that wonderful bright cherry Christmas red <laughs> here we go I'll do a light coat so there's no runs and then of course I'll go back and get a better coat look at her change now here this is the fun after all the work uh, this this is the payoff just a little strip between the dash and the uh, windshield there of course And she is changing right before your eyes. And then we're going to pull what I had to tape off and cover that I did with the gold. Look at this transformation now. Oh my goodness, it looks like a million bucks. <laughs> now here's what I want to show you. Why would he spray and overspray? Because this, it's easier to me to just go back and cut this in now. See, it was so fast to spray them rims. I just take my black enamel, model paint, and cut that in, and the tires look brand new. Okay, so here we are in the shop, and I had several things to fix and clean up and get the old labels off. Like I said, both the fenders were broken from kids and we're going to scuff these up. See that old label? And that just simply always said uh, 1932 Rolls Royce. That's what it is. That's the design of the car. And I got my E6000 glue and we got the center rubber coming off the spare so we're going to put that back on and we're going to clamp that in place so it stays nice and that's what it would have rode on the when when kids used it I'm going to pop out all these lenses so I can paint the body of the lights. Here's my Gorilla Glue Super Glue and it's the gel type. And here is my putty 
to fill in big spaces. That's the contour putty. I mean, this thing was broke right off. And if you can see the holes in this, it was real important to get this back looking better. And even this little turn signal lens had a chip out of it, so we got that fixed. Now, the bulk of the car is done. Now I'm doing the ancillary equipment. Everything that needs to be gold, the luggage bin that goes on the back, the bumpers that I fixed in the shop, everything that needs to be gold. Then we're gonna put it back on. Look at the radiator. It's just, look what this does. It's fabulous. Radiator, the headlights, <laughs> the bumpers, the door handle, the rear view mirror, the turning signals, and the spare tire. That spare tire just makes that car, don't it? Up there on the side, it just tells you that era. Alrighty folks, I want to show you that we're all done. We're where we can see it and work in the AC. <laughs> and I'm going to show you what I'm going to decorate the car with here today. Now I just picked up a half a yard. I had to ask the girl, I said, I got a dumb question. Can I buy just a half a yard? That's all I need. She says, oh yeah, no problem. Of this faux polar bear. Okay. <laughs> How good can it get? Boy, I'll tell you, watch it when you go to cut that. It sheds and threads all over the place. Next, we have two-sided tape. Gotta have it. If you never owned any, you need to get some. This is fantastic. Okay, and painter's tape so it doesn't pull off our paint job that we've done. Also, I've got some white enamel with a sponge, a little disposable cardboard tray with a disposable coffee top my homemade cut up sponge that you see me talk about, a brush just in case, and I picked this stencil up at the local Hobby Lobby. Look how good. I cut that down, okay, so it, it came like this, and I cut that down so I can position it on each door where I want it like that. Then I got a bag of jewels at Uncle Wally's. Next, a sticker pack. I'm gonna install the uh, faux polar bear fur first. Now, rather than glue or make something permanent, I thought I just wanted to get the two-sided tape on the car. Okay, and you'll see what I'm thinking. Right over the seat. Okay, both sides. And I'm gonna get underneath of the canopy. Okay guys, now you can see I've got the two-sided tape around the sides in the front of the rumble seat and 
you're going to get about one shot at this <laughs> without making a mess. So, so we're in the back. This is the factory edge. Okay, and just like upholstering anything, you have to make some corner cuts like this. And now we're ready to go over the back of the seat and let this drop down in. Oh my goodness, look how cute. I don't want to be too fussy, too crazy about it. So I've got my painter's tape and taped on my stencil here to be in the center of the door. Pretty good, I'm looking at this crack and to this joint. You know this enamel dries quick, so gotta move along here pretty good. I get some on that lid and just dab that in. And I chose white because I have black and red and gold. And I just felt I have a lot of those. So I think this is going to show up more. 15, 20 minutes, that stencil will be dry enough for me to move and use it again. But we're not done. This is Santa's car. Oh man, these, these, these are cute. These stencils are cute. Let's take a look. Stickers, I mean. I think Santa on the each each side of the box, maybe. <laughs> okay, so I'm taking my E6000 glue. It's a nice household glue I've mentioned before. Just put a dot on one and swipe it over with another one. So now there's glue on both. See how I like that. Now it's looking like a Santa mobile. <laughs> now, too good guys. Here is a sheet of travel stickers that I thought would be perfect on that travel trunk on Santa's car. <laughs> Raffles Hotel, Singapore. Let's make this look like a real travel trunk. And you know, he gets around. And because we live in Florida, I thought even a couple of flamingos would be good. Where are you gonna go, guys? <laughs> bon voyage. Right there. Okay, I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to get the reflectors on the other side of the car. And then, after most of three days, I'm going to take you and show you all around. Thank you.
So folks, if you liked our video today, Santa's 1932 Rolls Royce makeover, give us a like, a share, a comment, send your friend over. Tell them how much fun we have right here on my take on home and garden. Hey, thanks guys. Be good. And we'll see you in the next decorator and collector video.